and welcome to the Oversight Global's The Energy of Gratitude series, where all month long we are deep diving into the practice of gratitude, which is a super quick, super easy, yet highly beneficial tool that you can use for positivity and success. My name is Anjali Kapoor. I'm your series host, as well as the founder of Oversight Global. We're an organization that addresses the consciousness crisis in the world by advocating for awareness and consciousness. We strive to educate and empower individuals and businesses to be aware of and strive to fulfill their fullest potential and uniquely contribute to the world. Today, I want to welcome our guest, Vishnu Priya Aristo. She is the founder of the Zero Point Holistic Healing Center. She is a holistic healing therapist certified in multiple healing modalities such as Reiki, past life regression, hypnotherapy, rapid transformation therapy, and many others. The Zero Point Holistic Healing Center has teamed up with the best holistic healing practitioners in the world, combining the top holistic healing modalities to provide a complete body, mind, and soul healing for all clients all around the world. Vishnu Priya has formulated a unique 11 day full body therapy for clients, which is a proprietary blend of energy medicine plus alternative therapeutic techniques that create that are creating miracles in people's lives. So far, they've healed people with arthritis, asthma, constipation, and all kinds of different um, conditions and pain. The vision of the Zero Point Holistic Healing Center is to empower humanity to eradicate their pain and suffering and lead them towards enlightenment. Vishnu Priya, welcome. So happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anjali. That was a beautiful introduction. So thank you so much for having me here with you today. Of course. So let's go ahead and dive in and start exploring um, gratitude. So can you tell us what does gratitude mean to you? Wow. So the first thing that comes to my mind as you speak about gratitude, I guess this is from the book called uh, The Map of Consciousness Explained by Dr. David Hawkins. So there is something called uh, the level of consciousness in that chart. So I guess the first time when I really understood the importance of gratitude was when I read the book when, and when I understood that gratitude is one of the highest frequencies that there is. Uh, comparing to all other you know imagine a scale where it is zero to one thousand mm-hmm. and there is like guilt shame fear anger in the lower end of the spectrum love is at 500 600 there is peace and it's around 800 to 900 range uh, where there is gratitude so for me i guess gratitude is like that top notch that all of us might have to strive to reach at least in my case that's one of the spaces that i would love to uh, love to be in at all mm-hmm. times mm-hmm. yeah that's that's amazing i actually thought that love with that was the highest frequency but it's gratitude huh yeah that's amazing okay. that's amazing so can you um tell us how you found that gratitude affects you and your life you mentioned it a little bit and um you know just answering that question but can you kind of give us more of a deep dive into how, how it's really affected you um so the initial times when i actually consciously started practicing gratitude was i should say about three to four years back when i started learning about holistic healing and that's when I got to know about law of attraction and that's when I was like, huh, gratitude plays such an important role because Mm -hmm. in the law of attraction teaching, uh, it was all about how I can manifest anything that I would like to have provided I be at that gratitude frequency. For example, Mm -hmm. it was like, okay, if I would like to manifest, let's say $10,000, if I can feel gratitude that I have for that $10,000 today, Mm -hmm. it will automatically come to me in the future, tomorrow or whenever is the right time. But instead of being in the worry or disappointment that I don't have it, when I switch to, you know, thanks to the universe that I've received this much money or thanks to the universe that this much money is coming to me, this is just one example. If I can be in that gratitude frequency for what I would like to have in my life, Mm -hmm. it just manifests and I personally have created something called the manifestation meditation that nowadays I tend to give to my clients and in that meditation gratitude is out of the five steps 
required for manifestation one among that is gratitude which is always towards the end of it so it's a seven minute meditation where at the end of it you will actually get into that gratitude frequency mm-hmm. feeling gratitude for what you have right now and what is coming into your life in the future so that's the importance of gratitude i would say for our life and what we would like to create in our life Mhm. Yeah, yeah. I totally understand what you're talking about. Um, you know, kind of being in that higher frequency and then attracting what it is that you want to manifest. Manifest. I know that, you know, I I also learned that kind of early on in my journey and um, you know, when you try it and then really find that it works. It's really amazing that, you know, we put so much effort into um trying to do things the hard way with just our sheer effort and willpower, but um you know if we just kind of trust and lean into gratitude and love it's amazing that the things that we want without even thinking about it just kind of come to us so that's great thank you for sharing so um how do you feel gratitude should be regarded in the world especially you know i'm um, considering that we've all been um through this worldwide pandemic the last couple of years mhm sure For me, when I learned about gratitude, as I said, it was only like three, four years back that I got to understand the importance of it. So my first, um, like that awakening moment was like, why was wasn't this taught to me in school days, right? If I if this was taught to me when you know we learn English, Max, you know, alphabet A B C D, if we were taught gratitude and the importance of it. at that age you know 3 years or 5 years old uh it could have become a natural quality for me when i only got to know about it at 25 years old i felt it really difficult to create that habit of gratitude so it was only that for me i felt this has to be taught in school this has to be just like i have english max and science book there should be a book called gratitude and the importance of it and how it can literally change your entire life and we can all be happy beings if all of us have that feeling of gratitude within us just feeling gra- grateful for even being able to breathe as we wake up each day right so if that was taught as a habit even at the younger age all of us would have you know just like you know we wake up in the morning and brush our teeth we don't forget it because it is a habit that mm-hmm. got cultivated So similar to that is that was also spoon fed for us as we are born and brought up. I feel I would have been much better person. I would have created so much more in my life <laughs> if this was taught at the age of five. Right, right. No, I I definitely feel the same way. I say that a lot. That you know, why wasn't this taught when we were younger? <laughs> yeah, you know, who knows what type of lives we would have, but. you know definitely grateful that you know I've learned it as an adult and now I can move forward with that um new found knowledge and insight so do you have any tips um for somebody who's kind of just beginning um to to realize that they can use gratitude to you know change their lives and to and to grow and be more positive i mean you know do you have something that you share with your clients to kind of get them started in that right direction Sure. Thank you for asking that question. I see that is a great contribution to the listeners as well here. Uh, so, in my case, I had to bring up even after understanding so much about the importance of gratitude, I saw myself somehow resisting to use this powerful tool. So, mm-hmm. for me, gratitude is such a powerful tool, but I was just not ready and willing to actually take it up and start using it. um so it was like i still wanted to sit and worry and be disappointed or be sad or angry that i don't have this that this did not happen that did not happen because i see the emotions are a habit so we have cultivated that habit of being angry or the habit of feeling the opposite of gratitude which is the lack of everything and feeling worry and disappointed for mm-hmm. it so that has become a pattern and that has become a habitual pattern of you know being being like a habit so now recreating or changing that habit for me personally took a lot of time and i had to put a lot of energy and and learn so much about it finally for me to realize this is it 
there's no more no point in you know being bothered or disappointed that this didn't happen that did happen at no cost i can go into the lower emotions as i said in that you know scale of mm-hmm. consciousness i'm just jumping down when i feel the negative emotions so the one thing that made me shift and change that i saw was somehow some kind of commitment that no matter what i'm committed to having gratitude feeling gratitude on a regular basis every single day as i wake up in the morning can i just say thank you that i'm still alive that i'm able to see that so much i have achieved in my life feeling gratitude for myself feeling gratitude to the universe that you know there is so much uh you know good things all around me so just putting that initial seed of gratitude as we wake up early in the morning itself i see the life or the day itself starts changing from there but as i said it requires a lot of commitment um some kind of determination has to be there is what i felt mm-hmm. as i went through that process by myself we have to be determined um it's like a little you know puppy that you train the puppy to actually you know go out when it's required mm-hmm. similar to that i guess we at least in my case i felt myself as this uh, as a very difficult person to handle because knowing this as i said i was losing it so it's like no wish no this is not acceptable from today you know gratitude has to be there no matter what mm-hmm. only when i make such a demand of myself then i see you know write in the gratitude journal you know i guess that so uh, everybody would know it but are we doing it or how many of us are doing it in the past which again requires discipline commitment determination that this gives me results this is changing my life why wouldn't i do it mm-hmm. right so bringing that discipline into life i guess is one of the major things all of us might have to do Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree with you there. I I do the same thing. As soon as I wake up, I, you know, go through this list of, "Oh, thank you that I'm alive, I'm breathing. Thank you for this day that I get to experience." So, yeah, I definitely agree with you that it it does take some commitment and some some real effort. And, you know, I'm um, same thing, you know, I discovered gratitude about 3 years ago, 3-4 years ago, and it's still, you know, I still have to um kind of remember to do it. um and i still you know to this day still find myself if i meet a challenge or a negative experience i'll start to go down into those lower levels and i have to remind myself nope i don't want to be here i want to be up here so yeah i mean i think it really takes that commitment and that dedication and that awareness of you know i don't want to be down here i want to always be up here so so thank you for that that's so great So thank you so much for all of the insight and knowledge that you've given us. This is great. Can you tell us a little bit more about you and what you do with your business? Sure. So as you have already mentioned, I'm the founder of the Zero Point Holistic Healing Center. I am a holistic healing therapist with so many different modalities that um, that I'm certified in. But to give you a short note, what happened prior to that? So I was this girl born and brought up in India and I went to US for my masters I completed my masters in engineering and my MBA and uh, right out of the bat I just started my company I was even as a kid I was, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur so I started my business which was an e-com business um and becoming a millionaire was my dream even as a child So I was in that pathway towards it, and in fact, the first year in the business was a six-figure business. Uh, we were able to reach there, and the second year, I had all tools and everything lined up to that greater growth that I was expecting. But on the other hand, what happened was I just fell down from there. So I ended up being in so much debt, uh, which obviously I should say that was one of the darkest uh, mm-hmm. times in my life. and i had to find a way to pull myself out from there i was in a contemplation that topsy or so how do i get out of this mess that i made in my life uh it was at that time i i found a your video on from youtube i guess it was uh, of dr joe dispenser uh where he was discussing and telling about all this law of attraction stuff and how 
we are creating our own lives and that was like an eye opener for me at that time as like oh so i have created my failure in my life which means that i have i can create success as well so it was empowering and it was as i said an eye opener for me understanding the law of attraction that's where my holistic healing journey began from there i got to watch a lot of hypnotherapy based videos they was uh, uh Dr. Marisa Peer from UK she was one of the top hypnotherapists she was using different kinds of NLP and hypnotherapy tools to actually reprogram our minds so i was really interested i started using it learning it for myself and applying it after a certain period of time doing so much learning i got to know about reiki healing um about theta healing theta healing is also one other modality that can help us go into our subconscious and mm. change our belief systems mm. so all of that kind of got to that point that this is what i want my profession to be mm. this awareness of holistic healing i would love to give it to the world because it changed my life and even if one person uh, person's life if i can change with it you know i'll be grateful for it So yes. that's exactly what I wanted to do and that's how the entire world of holistic healing opened up. So today in my website uh, zeropointhealing.com which is also a directory where there is 500 to 600 holistic healing practitioners registered. So if you go to my website and click on directory you will see all these people from all over the world mm-hmm. uh, who are who have certified this like 80 plus holistic healing modalities. So that's how my journey began and today I have the center and my vision is to have the zero point holistic healing centers all over the world with so many different practitioners who can offer these sessions. For me what attracted me towards this is that permanent solution mm-hmm. for the recurring problems of our life. So mm-hmm. for me it it became a habit every month i kept aside let's say some 500 dollars or something of that nature i started setting aside this is for my healing wow why didn't i invest in my own healing and i made it a practice to keep a budget separate each month oh that's great thank you so much for mentioning that i think you know um we tend to put things ahead of ourselves So to really be intentional about putting away, you know, creating a budget for your healing or for your self-care, just kind of taking care of yourself. That's 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 really important. Thank you for mentioning that. So you mentioned that um people can go to your website. Is there any other place that they can connect or follow you? Yes. So I do have uh I am active in social media, so I have Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Just go to my website and there is my um email address uh the the email address of the company so you can reach out to me through email as well anybody who is listening uh and as i already mentioned we also offer unique uh healing sessions which i have created personally using the mix of so many different modalities i call it the lavender day zero point holistic healing treatment um which is something very unique it's a combination of holistic life coaching plus holistic healing because all sorts of health conditions have emotional factors that create it it's our emotions that creating the health issues instead we are going into the root cause of it healing mm-hmm. it for you whatever has happened in the past and then also helping you by coaching you how you do not have to be treated so that's the entire process of the lavender treatment That's amazing. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I think it's um, you know, really important that you know, we address the root causes. I know here um with conservative medicine, they're really just kind of treating symptoms. They're not going after the root cause. So, I think it's great that that's something that you kind of go after from the get-go so that, you know, you're um helping to heal somebody not just for a short time but permanently. That's great. So, we will include all of those links um to and this new priya's website and have to connect with her in the video description below so just check that out so this new priya thank you again for being here and for sharing your experience and all of your insight and knowledge it's, it's incredible thank you so much and then i just want to thank the audience for being here and for watching so be sure to check out our other episodes 
of the Energy of Gratitude series. If you're getting as much out of it as I am, please be sure to share, let your friends, family, and others know, and be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already to get notified of future episodes and videos on our channel. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next video.